Hello, my name is Elliot and this is Freelance Ducky and I got you another really special video for you today. Last week I did a review of Josh's video from Outdoor Limits. Today I'm going to be doing Matt from High Prairie Sportsman and I'm going to do all the Flyways Collective guys and they're going to be doing everyone's as well. So it's really cool. You've probably seen some of these going on. So I'm doing Matt's, uh, Josh's, which I already did, uh, Jordan from Duck Hunt Chronicles, Titus from Mid Valley Mercenaries, Thomas from Virginia Outdoors Unlimited. Really excited about this. Can't wait to do this and watch Matt's video and just do a reaction to it. Before we get started, I want to mention one thing. We have a website, theflyawayscollective.com, and you can go there and buy the Flyaways Collective merchandise. I have hats for the first time in years. This is one. It's khaki and coffee. Here is the camel. This camel one's going really fast. So, if you want an FDH camo hat or a khaki and coffee, jump over to theflyawayscollective.com and pick one of those up. You can also get um, hats from any of the Flyways Collective crew members. So make sure and do that. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff together as a group this year. Really excited about it. So let's get into High Prairie Sportsman's video. Um, you know, Matt and I have actually done multiple collab videos during fishing, we've done three different collaborative fishing videos all up in the Sand Hill and Sand Hills of Nebraska. You know, I I kind of give myself a pat on the back here because I was I jumped on to Matt's uh, YouTube channel really really early on. I think I was in the early 300s of his subs. I know he's probably pushing somewhere close to 10,000 now. I was really early on because. I have a love for the sand hills of Nebraska and I was cruising around YouTube looking for waterfowl hunting videos and I saw this guy hunting in the sand hills and bam I I lightly tapped the subscribe button to his channel and I've been watching him ever since if you have not had a chance to subscribe to um, High Prairie Sportsman I would certainly suggest that right when this is done, I will put a link to his channel and you can go over there and hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm just going to let this roll and I'm going to, if I have anything I want to say, I'm just going to react to it. I might stop the video a little bit and talk just about what I'm thinking and what's going on. So let's jump to this right now. Let's go. Let's do it. So Matt's intros, I have always loved the way that he does his intros. I've actually debated um, switching my intros into something a little bit more similar to what Matt does. And he just, I love the artistic flair of some of the clips he does. I love the music that he chooses. From the beginning in his video, I feel like I'm there. I'm in love with the way that Matt does his intro. So if, humor me, Liz. I want to watch it again. Old Town is actually a sponsor of Flyways Collective. We all have one. Um, I know Josh has a couple of Old Town kayaks. We all have that hybrid canoe kayak. Excellent little boat. There's at least one other group out here. I can hear him talking. So obviously, caught some public land today. But October 25th. Out, 27 degrees. I had to deal with some waves this morning. The weatherman totally swing and a miss on that weather forecast. Because he said it was about to be dead calm, maybe 5 miles an hour. And it was probably 20. Stuff I don't know if I've seen this one or not. I think I have, but I'm, I think I've seen it. I'm not positive. Shop on the water. I'm kind of in a protected pocket here in this wetland complex, and uh, I'm on the far, far side. They come up the water. 
it'll be I'll be the first decoy spread they see hopefully. But got good cover, cattails, everything. Give me a flashlight, Matt. Pretty good hunt. Fingers crossed. I don't think this is in the sand hills. I don't think. Flat water. So late October in Nebraska, probably not a ton of mallards yet, but some is my guess. Um, up in that area, I believe the mallard migration, the bulk of it comes through mid, mid to mid November, I think. So probably he's not going to shoot tons of mallards on this hunt. I wouldn't think. Probably a mixed bag. That's why you didn't shoot it. <laughs> oh my god, did you see how close that one was? There we go. Let me talk about Matt's shot selection for a second. I hunted with him two or three times during the collab last year. He he has a very, very conservative shot selection. Um, fits in really well with my shot selection. Now, if you hear on that clip, he says, oh, crap, why didn't I shoot that? But his patience is why he didn't shoot it. Um, you know, he, look at the shot he got compared to if he had just jumped up and shot at that crossing shot out in, out in front of his decoys. So, I mean, that's Matt's shot selection. I, I From what I've seen, he, that that's exactly how he does it. Patience and get him in tight. Patience and get him in tight. So you don't want that. Man. Look how close this front bird is. Oh, that's I bet you that's five that's four or five yards in front of him, that one. That's nuts. Double. And Matt has excellent, excellent shot selection. Smokes that look came right at me. <sighs> Solo hunters, so much oh. fun. They were tight. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I have seen this. I have seen this video because I remember how close all these decoys are, and I love cattail marshes. I've seen this one. Nebraska is my second favorite state in the U.S. For sure. If I was going to move any other place other than Kansas, it would be Nebraska. That's where I'd move. Probably not as west as what Matt is. Matt's out there west. He's out there way west. He's above Colorado. Those things were in tight. They were three yards. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Tight. That's awesome. Nothing better than to get birds in your face like that. Mm. Oh, I got him. <laughs> He's oh, going to get away. With the wad. As you guys know, anytime you're seeing footage shot on a GoPro, it's half the distance it looks like. So <laughs> if it mouth. looks that close Look on a GoPro, Holy crap. it's under 15. Tight. Yeah. If it looks that close on a GoPro, it is closer than you probably even want. I didn't see what type of bird that was. That's a greenhead, baby. Oh, nice. That's a greenhead. Heck yes. He destroyed it. Oh, yeah, he got smoked. Just a bit. He missed the first two, but that close. Is, those first two shots are not that easy when it's that close. Got the teal, got the mallard. That other teal, he was about straight away. About where the cattail heads are, I'm guessing. So I'm not sure what the limit is in Nebraska. Here we get six ducks, only five mallards. Mallard, shoot, he was probably ten yards when I smoked him. This teal, I'm a 
shoot my head almost got taken off by a teal. I couldn't <laughs> even pull up on that one. I had to pull up on another yeah. one. Yeah. And then this one is going away. He's still only 10, 15 yards. This is insane. There he is. I can see. Green wing, yeah. It's hard to find birds in those kind of cattails, even with a dog. She got pretty good pattern too. Jeez. Yeah, halfway done. So it's limit okay. six. Okay. That's a good, Just like Kansas. Good morning in my book. Get him! Oh. Oh. oh, he did get him. <laughs> Another double. Those mallards too? I better find him. I think I saw the HTR gun stand. You have not picked up an HTR gun stand. HTR, HunterInnervation.com. They're awesome. Yeah, uh, Gaddy? Yep. That old dad wall. Nice. They both came in really nice. I don't know what I was seeing. I thought one was a mallard. But I'm sitting right here. They both came in. Jeez, he's already one from his limit. How much I left is it? it? He still has quite a bit of video. I got this one. Two doubles. The other one was hit pretty good. And they didn't get him. Let's see if he's going to find that bird. And he went down in here, so... Gonna ah, that's going to be a tough bird to find. I'm just try to finish off my limit, and uh, then we'll go really put a search party out. But yeah, that's going to be a tough bird. I don't think he was going anywhere. Mm, I don't know. I thought he I looked alive. I couldn't see him, but the way he went down, he, was, he wasn't feeling good. So we got four in the bag, five shots. Here's a few more ducks. Oh, I thought he had five. Oh, because he hasn't found that fifth one yet, so he actually has five. Hard to find. I know I hit him. I've got good blood. I've got feathers right here. I'm just kind of walking around in circles looking for him. And as much blood as there is here, I can't believe he's not just laying there. A bunch of cattails, which is exactly what I'm doing. Even if it was a more colorful bird, it would be a little easier, but. Yeah, well, gray. Kind of blends right in. So. I knew he was going down hard. He was still flapping, and he hit right here. I've got feathers. i got blood. And a little radius there, but can't really see any discernible path past that. And I figured he would be just laying there. They can really tuck down in if they're alive at all. They dig down in there. Right here. There's more blood. There's more blood. There's more blood. He's he's hurting really bad. But he came in. There's Man. more blood. Here's a bunch of blood. There's nothing worse than lose nothing worse than losing birds. He, I mean he can't be far. I probably spent an hour looking for him already. Oh my gosh. That's dedication. So, real quick question. Comment below on this question um, when you get a chance. When you are out waterfowl hunting and you lose a duck, technically, it is you do not have to count that duck towards your limit. If you if you shoot and lose a duck, you don't have to count towards your limit. But the problem is, let's say in this situation that Matt does not count that bird towards his limit, and then he shoots his limit, and then on the way out, he finds it, and now he's over limit. So... 
Um, what does your group do? Do you guys count lost birds towards your limit or do you not count them towards your limit? The ma vast majority of the time, um, we count them towards our limit, especially in this situation where Matt's in here, I would first certainly count that towards my limit because you could find that on the way out at any time and be over your limit. Now, if, if, if one is kind of, you know, flying away and it's a little wounded and it goes you know, a couple hundred yards and you're not even quite sure if it went down, but you think it went down, you can't find it, then maybe that's a situation to not count it towards your limit. I don't know. Um, so what do you do? Do you count lost birds towards your limit or do you not count them and keep shooting? I'm curious. Let's see what Matt does. I bet he counts it towards his limit. I bet. Bam. There we go. Dead. That's the limit. He, he counted that last one. I figured he would. Matt is. Group of mallards work perfect. Very careful, ethical. Picked one out and boom, hunter. he was done. For sure. Beautiful place, isn't it? Man, that's a beautiful Limited spot. Out before nine o'clock. Beautiful There's spot. More flying. That was a perfect flock. They worked beautifully. I should have had a couple more guys. Now, Jordan um, Fromer and I just released um, a podcast on the Duck Gun Podcast about hi hiding and concealment. And this is a really interesting one um, because Matt by himself there, he's got absolutely no problem getting hit. And he doesn't need to do anything other than sit in the cattails. If you had two guys, you could get away with it. If you had three guys, mm, could you really shoot the birds that close? I don't know. Four guys, no. So a lot of concealment is how many guys that you've got. It's so much easier to hide one guy than it is to hide four, obviously. Ooh. You can go check that podcast out on iTunes or wherever. Duck Gun Podcast. Good way to end it. Another big old green head. <laughs> Those things work perfect. I've seen him come over here. Just came out of nowhere. And give him a little drake whistle, a little quack. Came back one pass. Came back a second time. And they came right around here, right where my blind is. And boom. One shot, and I dropped him in the water. And here he is, another stud, mallard, drake. So two gadwall, two mallards, two teal, and we're done. Unfortunately, one gadwall gave me the slip. Look at him. Nice. Mallard, he's already got the red legs. Kind of skinny little mallard. Both those mallards you shot were kind of skinny That's little suckers. Mallard. They work beautifully today. What a day. Nice. Here we are. That's a limit. Look at those. Some nice green heads. Nice little gadwall. Some teal. Whew, what a hunt. This was an absolute fun one, guys. Unfortunately... My vlog camera did not capture any audio for some reason, so I think I have it fixed now, but doing the outro now. Great hunt, though. Easily the best working birds besides teal this year, and I mean, other than losing that one gadwall, which sucks, I hate losing birds, but this was a fun hunt this was just an absolute blast got out you know i love going on them solo hunts and when birds do like that it just makes it so awesome so, so it was a really good hunt hopefully you guys enjoyed it but that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this if you did be sure to leave me a thumbs up always helps me out drop a comment let me know if your thoughts were subscribe if you haven't already seen all right so there you have it matt from high prairie sportsman again if you have not subscribed to his channel go do that now it's a fantastic channel, awesome, authentic waterfowl hunting from a guy who has high ethics and just a great, great human being, quite honestly. And also, don't forget, if you would like to get a Flyways Collective hat of any kind, um, whether it's a high-priced sportsman or it's a freelance duck hunting, these are actually going pretty fast. So um, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I, I got a few more of those. So anyway, that's it for today. I've got another one coming out, I think... 
I'm doing Jordan's video next week, I think, Duck Gun Chronicles. So anyway, check these out. Check out all the Flyaways Collective. I will see you guys on the next one.